Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. I've had another bit of post come today and I have to say I feel really sorry for the postman today because he was struggling. Um, I bought this parcel from Sam Long who was clearing out his game room, just having a big sort out, getting rid of stuff that either isn't working anymore or stuff he hasn't got time to fix up or one thing he tried to fix up and realised that no, it's not for him. So he's put a post up saying, does anybody want this lot? It was 60 quid. Um, it all inclusive, that was included in the post. So, so I was hesitated to begin with and then thought, well, you know what, sod it. It's gonna keep me busy. It might make a few videos. Uh, I love fixing up old things. I don't have the best skills in the world, but you know, let's, let's do an, idi an idiot's guide. That's what we'll call it. And when I was talking about the box, I mean, look at the size of this thing. It weighs an absolute ton. But he did say as well, um, he put a few extra bits in here as well as he was packaging things up. So I know what things are supposed to be in here. Um, I'm not sure the condition of stuff. Uh, and I'm not sure what extra bits are in there as well. So let's open this up. I've got my knife. Let's open this up and see what we have got. Bought a sharp knife this time. Last time I was trying to do it with a really felt like a butter knife. Tell you what, I need to get the knife off my dad. He used to be in the Navy and he's got a massive diving knife. That'd be great to open uh, to open boxes up on camera. Maybe lose a finger along the way. So then, let's see. What have we got? Hang on, save. Moving the camera, I'll just cut this off. There we are, that was easier. So, first of all, I've got N64 bag, and that is not to be sold. Um, I'm gonna be cleaning that up, and I actually do need an N64 bag. and see if the uh, condition of like inside. Yeah, decent condition, just a little bit dirty on the outside. I'm not the biggest N64 fan, as I've uh, said in the past. But it's still nice to have things, you know, looked after properly. And I'm sure that'll clean up really, really well. Just a bit of scuff mark and dirt on it. Yeah, official N64 bag. Good start. Oh, these maybe some of the extra bits. Some games. I'm sure these weren't in the um, in the original picture because it was mostly consoles. Uh, looks like we've got some loose discs here. I'll try and remember to keep things on shot as I'm actually filming. This is actually a right pain in the arse to try and get all this in shot. <laughs> it really is. So, we have FIFA Soccer 95. I actually don't have um, very many Mega Drive games. I did get rid of quite a lot of them. We have F1 Grand Prix. A little bit chewed up. This may... No, that'll still work. Uh, I'm sure I've got a box for this somewhere. And some loose discs. So anyone need any coasters? We've got some FIFA. Adlands, Halo, Medal of Honor, Gears of War, Need for C Speed Hot Pursuit, another coaster. Game Party Compilation, Batman. And Broken Sword. Don't think I've played Broken Sword before. That's it. I'll use these as frisbees. The FIFA, anyway, that is. So, what else have we got in here? We have a box. Obviously, let's move this one out. I've got a Game Boy magnifying lens. It's handy to have. I actually don't think I have any of those either. Oh, just realised there may have been someone's address on there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It'll give me a pain when I come to do the uh, upload if it's on there. Right, we've got a box of pads and things. I'm sure these are wired Xbox 360 pads. They're just going to need sort of like thumbsticks. Yeah, they're wired Xbox 360 pads, the see-through ones. Just needs a new thumbstick put in on there. I don't see anything else actually wrong with that. We have some uh, unofficial They 
feel weird. GameCube pads. I look, look how square that looks. Very interesting. You know, we all need a pad to give to somebody we don't like. And we have two of those. Wow, that feels, <laughs> that feels nasty. <laughs> third party pads are a third party for a reason. Uh, we have another. That's got a attachment for something else. I'm not sure. What's that attachment for? Anyone tell me? It's loose and stuck on the end of it. Oh, hang on. Sorry, it is just this. I'm just an idiot. Nothing new there, then. It's clearly, so I think you can change it so you can plug it directly into your um, original Xbox. This just needs two new thumbsticks. I mean, this is so easy to replace these things. Uh, we have... You know what, that, I, I've seen pads in much worse condition. The only thing wrong with this one so far is it's got the back battery um, broken off. Very easy to replace. And the thumbsticks looks like someone's eaten them. So it looks like I'm going to be going online and getting a whole load of new thumbsticks. But yeah, we've got a uh, wireless Xbox 360 pad. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I don't own one of those. I think this will be staying in the collection. We have a white official PS PS3 um, pad. DualShock 3 6 axis. Very nice. Give that a charge and see if that actually works. If not, I've definitely got plenty of parts for that. Um, we have Xbox 360 rumble pack. Any battery corrosion? No, it's actually good. The amount of times I've found these and I've still got them in. And, oh, I do actually need one of these. Uh, it's the Dreamcast like memory stick thing. Oh, talk about thumbsticks. There's a box full of thumbsticks in here. We have parts for an official GameCube pad. Now, that one is actually going to be really fun to fix up. Um, do we have the board as well? We do. We even have the board here. So, yeah. This is definitely going to make a video because I'm getting this one working. I'm not going to leave a um, official pad behind. Let's see, how does that actually feel? Yeah, that's fine. You no know, issues with that. The screws, I mean, look at that. I'm never going to run out of um, thumbsticks for the GameCube pads, am I? Yeah, I'm sure I can find some good ones out of this lot. I think that's the main thing about this, is just finding ones that work. Now those buttons are, are just ever so slightly different. I'll get that working now. Definitely keep an eye out for that one. I'm going to resurrect that guy. Put it all back in there before I lose it. Right, what else we got in here? Don't know what this uh, No, I do know what this is and I know why it was put in a bag. Because it's got bits broken off in it. Yeah. Now, whether it's got more damage than the post or what, we've got a bag full of bits in there. But we have a Super Famicom with some. Oh, yeah, looks like there's definitely been some more damage along the way. But that's all good. I am going to be looking out for a new shell or something for this. I just do a complete case swap. Um, I don't actually have a Super Famicom itself. It would be nice to actually play some of the Famicom games officially. And it's got the channel select and everything else on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's just, just, just had it, isn't it? I wonder if they actually make... I'll have to go online and have a look. Whether they sell like third-party replacement ones of these shells. I think, you know what it might make? It might make a good video to do like a Lego build on it. You know me, I can't be normal, can I? What else we got in here? A couple of cases, and that looks like for the original uh, Game Boy Advance and DS. Those things look weird. Alright, we have a GameCube. And 
what giant games you ah, we have a Japanese GameCube. Yeah, I've got plenty of ways to test that. I've got official um, power supplies and everything else. Missing that's this back bit, so more than likely it had a Game Boy adapter on the bottom at some point. But yeah, another GameCube for the collection. Stick them in the wall. Or this one probably be done up and sold on. Unless, unless I don't have a Japanese silver. A sucker for buying. Um, well, Nintendo know exactly what they're doing. Selling the same system in a different colour. I mean, it started with the was it Game Boy or the N sixty four? One of the two. Oh, what we got? Here. This sounds a mess. Oh, this one again. This is one I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if it's all in there. And we have. Be careful pulling this out. He sold this on eBay. And someone opened up a case just because there was a scratch on the top and they sent it back to him looking like this. So this is going to be the first time I actually look through it to see how much is actually in there. So we've got the actual top of the case, not too bad. And you've got the metal shield. We have the cartridge slot. Oh no, I was about to say we're missing the pins, but we're not. They've just turned this upside down. Uh, yeah, got that in there. We've got the motherboard. This is what happens when people take stuff apart and don't actually have a clue what they're doing. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, but yeah, make it up as I go along. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad a condition. This, uh, again, this will definitely make a, a nice video to, to fix up. Um, they, they're not too hard to fix up the the original NES, they really aren't. There's, there's not that much that can actually go wrong with them. So yeah, that's going to be another fix-up video. What we got in this one? Okay, get back to that one in a minute. I want to get this one out. We have a Japanese Sega Saturn steering wheel. I'm sure. Did ours have the same flaps on the side? I don't remember. It feels different to me. He said this isn't working, but uh, I'll open it up and see what we can do. If not, it definitely looks nice on the shelf. But the goal of this is definitely to fix them up. Not in here. Uh, this is this one may end up being um, above how I can fix things up because I know this one's been messed about with. And Sam. Thought he'd try his hand at soldering and modding with this result. <laughs> yeah, this this mess of a uh, took it all apart, couldn't put it back together. Um, too many wires coming off here. So it, clearly, he was trying to do some kind of um, I don't know, it's the 50, 60 hertz mod or something like that, so you can play different ones. Not 100% sure. But yeah, it, it is all there. So give it a good look under the... Uh, I'm going to strip it down and everything else and see if it can come back to life. Never know. Actually, I'm going to take a quick look now while I'm here to see if there was too much damage done. So it looks like there's been some something like there. Yeah, I'll be taking all these off. Can we bring it back to life? We shall see. And, and I told him to bin this. <laughs> I do not want a guitar hero. A DJ hero. I do a guitar hero, yeah. But this is just guitar hero. This is just DJ hero. Not going to take two. Just going to mess things up the recording as I normally do. We have... It has... Oh, You know what? Um, I know this was damaged before he sent it, but um, Parcel Force have not treated this very well at all. They've clearly just chucked that. 
Right, another one. I will be looking for a new shell for this. Hopefully, it's not damaged anything else on the inside, but we shall see. Um, I would love to put one of these in a clear shell. I really would. That's just going to be a mission. See if I can uh, get some more of these things fixed up. And the last one, um, I think it's one I was actually really looking forward to. It's not in the best condition, box-wise anyway. But we've got the double player wireless head system. Head to head system. That just fell off. Hey, Tootie, can you do a box re um, repair on this one? Do you know what? Actually, looking at it, oh God, look at the state of that in there. Looking at that, of what's actually left, I think this could actually be improved quite a lot. And there we have it the wireless pads themselves. And you know what? Just. Do you know, saying that, I was looking forward to these. Now I've seen them. And they're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Let's see if we can get one of them out. Oh, there's a hole at the bottom. There we go. They're massive. <laughs> Look at the size of those pads. Uh, I wonder where the batteries go. Looks like they go in the side there. there. Ah, there. Can't tell. They go in there. I was just seeing if there's any corrosion. But you know what? They, they look in decent condition. Um, very happy to actually own that, that uh, set of those. Um, yeah, I'll see what I can do about the box because I'm sure I can make that box look a hell of a lot nicer uh, than it does at the moment. I've seen worse boxes fixed up. I really have. Because that's just ripped there, look. On the edge. So the whole front of it's probably there. So. Yeah, I know this was a definite a bit of a, a random video. It's also a beware of um, sending parcels like this because this was parcel force and look what they did to it. I got bits rattling out of it. So let's see anyway what we can fix up. Because I really, really hope I can get some of this working. Uh, this whole parcel cost me £60 posted, which I think is an absolute bargain. Um, and even if I get none of it working, it'll keep me busy for a couple of weeks trying to get something working. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for future videos to see what I can get working, me swear on um, electrical items because they don't want to work. And if at the end of the day, I do make any money back from the 60 quid. So that is kind of the main goal. So everyone, thanks for watching this massive random unboxing of broken crap. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.